Hello, my friends, David Kessler here, and welcome back to the studio for another video. Today, I'd like to talk about comparing yourself with other artists and why it's not a good idea to do that. <clears throat> and first, I want to read you. Uh, I want to read you a quote, which I think is, in my opinion, is the best art-related or life-related quote um, that I have ever heard. And this one's attributed to you know the singer, or the uh, dancer and choreographer Martha Graham. I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. There's a vitality, a life force, an energy, a quickening that's translated through you into action. And because there's only one of you in all of time, this expression is unique. And if you block it, it will never exist through any other medium and will be lost. And the world will not have it. And here's a really important part. It's not your business to determine how good it is, nor how it compares with other expressions. It's your business to keep it yours clearly and directly and to keep the channel open. Wow. That's good stuff right there. Right? That's from Martha Graham, <clears throat> dancer and choreographer. It's not, I mean, I love that. And I read that to my students in all workshops because it talks about the uniqueness that everyone has, the gifts that everyone has that are different. And it's not your business to compare your gift with other people's gifts or how uh, other people use what they have. It's your business to keep it yours and to keep creating and keep that channel, that creative channel, that expressive channel open. That's your job. Um, and it's so easy today, and I know it's so, so, so easy with social media to constantly compare yourself as a painter with what other people are doing. I mean, you know, you know, scroll through Instagram, you know, and you wonder what in the world, you know, why can't I do that? Here's what you have to understand. You have to spend your energy and your time trying to figure out what it is that you can express to the world. That's what we want to know. I don't want you to paint like me or like somebody else. I want you to figure out what's in here and how to get what's in here out onto a surface so the rest of us can enjoy it. That's the key, right? And it doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter what any other artist does. It doesn't matter what any of the other people on Instagram are doing. It only matters what you do and what it is that you have in your heart to give to other people. That's what we want to see. We don't care. I mean, I don't want to see, and I do see so many artists whose work looks exactly the same. You know, and you know that one's just copying the other, copying the other, copying the other, and it ends up being the same stuff. They use the same process and they come up with the same stuff, <clears throat> particularly in abstract painting. And it's, it's unfortunate because some people aren't taking the time to figure out, really figure out who they are in here, and then they get that out. Or they're afraid to do that, or they don't want to take the time to do that. But listen, you don't need the approval of anybody else. You don't need the validation of anybody else. You don't need to create like anybody else. You have unique gifts. You need to take those gifts and figure out what makes them unique and then show us. Show us. That's what we want to see. I mean, that's what we want to see. We don't want to see you regurgitate something that other people do. Right? Figure out what's in here. Right? I mean, that's what matters. What's in here? And how can I get what's in here out onto a surface? And it's not something that you're going to do in a weekend. Right? I mean, this is not a weekend process. And some people don't want to put in the time. That's the key. You know, you got to put in the time. You got to put in the time with the paint and the brushes and all that stuff to figure it out. Um, who was it? Picasso or somebody said uh, that your muse better find you working. I'm paraphrasing because I don't know the exact quote. But the, the essence of that is if you're not working, you're not going to figure out what's in here. Right? You have to be doing it. You can't think about it. 
you can't read about it, you have to do it, right? You have to actually physically do it. That's how you learn what's in here, and that's how you learn how to get it out of there, right? So please don't compare yourself with other people. They may have intentions and a focus and everything else is completely different from you, and you don't have that same one, and you're not supposed to. You're supposed to have a unique gift, God-given gift that's for you to express so that the rest of the world can see it. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for being there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.